Welcome back. Three News can reveal details about a Crown Energy company and a regional council allowing fracking without consent. Solid Energy used the controversial method, hydraulic fracturing, during a trial operation to find coal gas near Huntley in 2007. The council had incorrectly told the company it didn't need consent. Tover O'Brien reports. Solid Energy's made its mark in Waikato, but not all of its operations have been this obvious. In 2007, Solid Energy fracked here north of Huntley without resource consent, pumping sand, water and chemicals at high pressure underground. They acted unlawfully. Uh, the fracking activity that they, un they undertook wasn't within the terms of their resource consent, and they should have known that. They should have had advice from their own experts. Solid Energy is a crown company, but in this case the government is keeping its distance. Well, it's a matter between the council and Solid Energy. Um, obviously they went ahead without a consent. Both Solid Energy and the Waikato Regional Council refused to appear on camera. The council's excuse was that the topic was too complex and Solid Energy argued that it's not its issue. The public should be concerned and need to know where fracking is happening around the country. If the councils don't even know, they can't be monitoring and the public won't know either. In a document given to 3 News, the council admits, in hindsight, we believe this fracking should have been consented, but the potential for it wasn't mentioned by Solid Energy. Solid Energy in turn blames the council, saying it confirmed the activity didn't require further consent. This afternoon the council changed its position, saying it was aware of the potential but didn't have concerns. Well I think both are responsible but also central governments dropping the ball. We would expect them to have a consent, we would expect the council to make it clear that they would have a consent and we'd expect them to do that uh, activity properly and legally. And Solid Energy has made mistakes in the past. When 3 News revealed historic fracking in Southland, Solid Energy had categorically denied ever using the method there. When we asked a second time, it turns out Solid Energy had a 10% stake in the company doing the fracking. The government says monitoring Crown companies is important, but says it isn't necessary for all individual consents. Tova O'Brien, 3 News.